most of my students ask this same question over and over again that so how do we transition to this field of data analytics i come from a marketing background i come from a mechanical background i come from a sales background how do we transition to data analytics and the main question that i'm getting in 2023 especially uh, over the past couple of months is that sir is data analytics domain dead or is data science domain dead because there are a lot of ai revolutions happening all around a lot of ai tools popping up a lot of automations happening do we still have an option in this particular domain or should we explore any other domain and i am going to explain these questions in this particular video stay tuned till the end and i'm also going to give some examples on how you can transition to a specific job role this video till the end before getting into that topic i would like to explain some of the basic scenarios in the field of data right now talking about data i think everybody knows these things i have repeated this in lot of my videos that in the space of data there are multiple job fields there are multiple career paths that you can decide data science data analytics data engineering data architectures uh, generative ai development so many things now if one road gets closed another road pops up so if a certain area is giving you difficulties in finding a job try to switch careers now talking about data science yes i would say that uh, even though i am a data scientist i am working as a data scientist right now i would still like to say that the data science domain is kind of declining i would not say dead but it is declining because the number of jobs has decreased over the past couple of months and the number of applicants has gone exponentially high so finding a job in the field of data science is pretty much difficult and i'm facing the same in hong kong as well because when i am applying for jobs i barely get opportunities uh, one or two opportunities in two or three months so that's that's difficult situation for me i talking about 2 3 years back when i used to apply I used to get lot of job options lot of interviews and all those things talking about data analytics of course the number of applicants are increasing like you many others are also entering this domain but is the industry dead i would say the industry is not dead so talking more about data analytics now data analytics domain has not changed a lot over the past many years 5 10 years back the data analytics watch what was happening is still happening right now tools might have revolved tools might there might be new tools in the market but the domain knowledge the expertise how we clean the data how do we transform the data all these things remains the same the way of doing it the tools the pipelines those things might change talking especially about bi now you can say that power bi is a new market leader right now tableau was a market leader 5 years back now power bi has kind of surpassed tableau now these two are playing around in the market other players are less than 10% which means there might be new bi tools popping up but power bi and tableau are still going to be kind of the you know leaders in the market for the next few years as well so this domain is safe you can still learn power bi still learn tableau and kind of become a data analyst or a bi analyst now so the domain is not dead for sure the domain is not dead there are ample amount of jobs you just need to learn how you want to search your jobs there are certain keywords that you need to apply if you are looking out for a data analytics job try to search for data analytics business analytics power bi tableau etl analysis these kind of keywords and you will be able to get now even if you are a fresher you are still okay if if you see an opening with one or two years of experience go for it apply for it so uh, the the bottom line is the domain has not changed the domain is active and alive now talking about the most important question which you might be thinking that i will answer is that if you are coming from a certain background how do we transition to this particular field now i'm going to open up a one to one link uh, under topmet topmet is one of these platforms i'm not doing a publicity or something like that it's just that that platform is easier for me to create a link so i'll be creating a topmet link in the description below you can enroll for a 15 minutes career counseling with me and 
based on your profile i'll probably give you some feedbacks on what could be your next steps now in this video i'm going to give a generic feedback okay let's see we'll take some random name mr anthony mr anthony works as a sales person or maybe a digital marketing expert in a company for over four to five years and he want to make a transition in the field of data analytics how can he do that could be one of your questions right you could be a mechanical engineer or something else so i cannot give each and every example that's why i have given the one to one link if you are not satisfied with this particular video on how to get into the space of data analytics definitely go for a one to one call now so getting back to mr anthony who is a digital marketing expert in one of the organizations uh, worked for almost 4 to 5 years he wants to make a transition first and foremost thing is going to learn the skills and what are these skills to learn python as a programming language sql as a database language statistics is not required so if we can skip it eda exploratory data analysis multiple topics under eda like data cleaning data preparation feature encoding feature scaling univariate bivariate analysis correlation and hypothesis testing multiple things after these kind of topics are over just go for a one or two hours of excel and then directly jump into a bi tool either power bi or tableau focus on one if you are learning both which is good but focus on one man master it when i say master that means you have to answer everything about tableau or power bi and create dashboards around it apart from that apart from the bi tools then go for predictive analytics and some basics of etl and data warehousing now if you are still asking where do we learn these kind of things of, of course there are so many courses in the market so many uh, platforms in the market where you can go and enroll for data analytics uh, courses but if you want it at an affordable price uh, that's where my program comes into picture i will share a link in the description the cost right now is around 19999 indian rupees which is around 1999 hong kong dollars but uh, that's basically for my hong kong users uh, if you are coming from india or you know me since quite a long time and you want to get enrollment in this particular course i can give you at a 75% off which is around 499 now some some people might be asking uh, some people might be thinking this course was 999 couple of days back and now i'm just strategically changing it to 999 and giving 75% off so that's not the case um, i have changed the pricing just because i want to focus more on the hong kong market so the the pricing the the offers are still the same right i, I was still giving you at 499 i'll still still give you at 499 as well so 499 inr you get everything now once you learn these things then comes the application part how do we get into the jobs how do we prepare our portfolios now if you are a digital marketing expert you should always think around how digital marketing as a domain is related to data analysis now, for example you are doing some website analytics you can extract the google analytics data and using the data analysis knowledge that you have gained you can perform some analysis however google analytics Analy basic analytics is already done by google on the on the analytics.google.com page but still you can get those data and perform those analysis using those analysis you can create a dashboard now that you can showcase in your resume that you performed a website analytics you performed some uh, analysis around this kind of you know uh, data for example you are doing some lead conversions funnel creation so the leads that you are getting how many leads are getting through how many leads are hot leads cold leads so you have to relate your domain knowledge and data analysis studies that you have studied combine them use them in your resume and prepare your resume accordingly so you cannot really go for a fresher opportunity but again you cannot also go as a five years experienced into data analytics because five years experience was into digital marketing space not into data analytics so you have to combine you have to kind of take an average and show that from the past two years you were working in data analysis but originally you come from a digital marketing background and that's how you can create a resume and resume creation and applying for a job is basically ab testing you don't really know 
whether the companies will like the resume or not so you have to keep changing the resumes and the best tips that i would like to give is try to change your resumes little bit based on the company's requirements so go through the company job description try to pick the keywords or the job statement that they have required try to add those things in your resume that's all about this particular video this was kind of lengthy but it was definitely informative if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel and don't forget to share it with your friends in my next videos i'm going to come up with a lot of end to end projects try to understand end to end projects every video on my channel cannot be an end to end project so it's difficult right uh, i i really cannot Uh, build projects and keep recording for 1 hour 2 hours so it's difficult so end to end projects will come but not quite frequently our next end to end project could be our next video see you for the next video